Hi Jazzy Greens, Liz here, welcome back. Today's video, I am participating in the Kitchen Vignette Challenge Fall 2021. This is being hosted once again by This and That with Denise Jordan and her co-host for this year is Ebony Ivy and Time with Leona Dooley. Denise hosts this collaboration every season and I am so glad that I am participating in it. I'm a little late because I did not get the notifications, but I'm still here. So I hope that you will enjoy watching my video. I will have the links down in my description box to their channels and the playlist. So please guys, when you finish watching this video, please head on over to the playlist and watch everybody's video. Okay, here's my fall kitchen vignette. It's sitting here on my kitchen counter near the sink and I'll give you a quick overview. Okay, I'm using this white tray and I use this very often because I think it's really, really pretty. I love the detail of it. As you can see, it's really pretty. And then laying on top of it, I have this um, kitchen towel. It's a very old towel, but I just think that it's really pretty. I love the details of all of the fall words, harvest. It has give thanks. It has thankful, blessing, and it has the cute, adorable uh, pumpkins and all of the little berries and sunflowers and leaves. I just think it's perfect for fall. So I decided to use that. And then I'm using a lantern, one of my favorite white lanterns. And I just clip this flower right on top of it. It has a clip on the back of it. And then inside, it's my LED candle, but I didn't have any batteries, so I could not, you know, light it up. But anyway, it has the little sunflower in the back, and I just threw some leaves in there just to give it some color. Over here to the left, uh, these are the newest, um, what do you call these things? Candle holders, these, um, lanterns i call these miniature lanterns because they're light lanterns and i have tea lights in this one here but i bought these two recently from walmart and in the back you can't see it but i believe it says blessing on it with a nice leaf there and i just added these flowers inside of the vase because i love the richness of the orange colors it's so pretty with a little hint of orangey light orange and yellow color so a little bit of red too and i just think that these colors are so pretty for fall these are one of my favorite colors to use and then this lantern as you can see says grateful and i put a tea light in there and i just love the opening of that leaf where you can put the tea light in there it's so cute so i have that and I wanted to stand this, um, the handle up. I didn't want to lay it down because I could have it. But for some reason, I like the way it looks uh, just standing up there. Now, if I put it down, um, I don't like the way that looks like that. So, and I could have put it behind the, behind it and, you know, have it down like that but I decided to leave it standing up so I think that looks nice just like it is and then here is one of my favorite pumpkins it's a white ceramic pumpkin and it's so pretty I love it it's just a plain pumpkin and I love the white color it's just so pretty and over here I have something with words on it I couldn't find what I wanted to find. Some of my decor is put away and I tell you, I have not, I have not been in the mood to decorate for fall yet, you know, because it's still hot. And so I'm not really, um, like I said, I'm not really in, in the mood yet, but I probably will. So I just have to give it some time, but I found this little cute house and I normally keep this in my kitchen and I think it's such a cute uh, decor piece to have in your kitchen and it says love lives here and we all need love in this time especially now 
even more we need love so and love should always live in your home wherever you are love should be in your heart and we should always love each other no matter what even in the bad times the good times just love 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 so that's why i chose this little house love lives here and it sure does and then i have a sunflower right here on the corner and then on top is this cute little birdie now i just love this look this you know i can put a little tea light in here but i didn't want to do that because then i would not be able to put him on top like this because it would probably burn up and it would be too hot so and i did try it so <laughs> and it was too hot so i said no you cannot go there with the tea light in there so i took it out and this is what i came up with now this is my actual uh vignette but over here i just wanted to add a few more things just to complete the nice look i have a kitchen sign over there and that's one of my old signs that I've had for a long time and I think it's cute and then I have my three apples a couple of mothballs and another little cute house that says welcome with a tea light in it now how cute is that I think it's so cute I'm happy with the way it turned out and I hope you guys like it too I would like to take this time to thank Denise and Leona for hosting this collaboration, ladies. I always love to participate in this and sorry that I am late, um, but better late than never, right? And if you're new here, welcome. I'm so glad to have you. Thank you so much for joining me. And if you have not yet joined the Jazzy Green family, please click on that subscribe button. Click on your bell so that you will be notified of all of my videos and leave me a comment down below and let me know if you like this and what you'd like about it. So I thank you so much, you guys. You take care, you be blessed, and I will see you next time in my next video. I love you all. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.